chili, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, bay leaves, 200 kg of meat, 400 people. All right, check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We're in Kaifeng, China, Hunan province. This is a total street food city and I'm so pumped because today we're bringing you for a full on street food adventure. Let's check it out. This is it, Kaifeng, China. Home to some of the craziest street food in the whole country. And today, we're bringing you in deep for five insanely unique street foods that you're gonna love. So make sure to watch this whole video all the way until the end so you don't miss any of these rare and unseen street foods in China. Let's eat. And this is just the ultimate street food city. First up, we're gonna get a, a Tong Yo Bing, like a Chinese green onion pizza right here to start the day. There's so many breakfast stalls. Kaifeng is just an awesome place. Ni hao. Is that Shanghao? And we just walked into the, the ultimate breakfast pizza pancake shop. Yang Lao Ban is making Thai Bing and Tong Hua Bing. One with garlic chives and one with just the regular green onions. And this is Jing Chang, this is Nanjing Tessa. But Thai Bing is Kaifeng Tessa, right? Yeah. So that's what it is. The Thai Bing with the garlic chives is the Kai Feng Tzu, and that's what he's gonna be making right now. Wow, look at this, guys. So we've got a green onion mixture, and we're just wrapping it up here in this dough sheet. Oh, it's just like a patty full of tong. Wow, and xiang the way out. So we just wrapped up a tong yo bing, and now we're gonna roll it out flat. There's literally huge scoops of tong in there. So Yang Lao Ban is gonna put 10 eggs in. Oh, and here we go. The Thai Bing. This is the real Kai Feng Tessa right here, guys. The Thai Bing. And these garlic chives are strong. Oh, there it is. Look at that, guys. And Yang Mel Ban is just spreading it out. And look at this, guys. It's a thick layer of garlic chives. And this is a special green in China that's found all over in Jiaozi, in Guotia. And it is quite strong. It really has a strong garlic flavor to it. But that is beautiful. Oh, and here comes the real joy, guys. Yang Mel Ban is gonna put 10 eggs in here. Wow. Here we go, guys. We're gonna put those jidan in. Ooh, wow. That is incredible. And or jidan. We're putting in 10 eggs, and it's gonna go right in this magic pancake grill. This is about 2 kg of Thai Bing right here. Oh, and here we go. Wow. Gonna layer it up. Just gonna put that lid on. It's like a pie, a garlic chive pie with egg and MSG. And there it is, the, the Thai Bing. And here we go, the Thai Bing. Oh, direct shot. That is unbelievable. So it's gonna grill there for five minutes and then we're gonna sit right on the street and have a Kai Feng breakfast. And there it is. It's been about two minutes. Yang Lao Ban is gonna flip it. Here it is, guys. Ooh. Oh, and it's almost done. Here comes the flip. Oh, that's heavy. The sound of that sizzle. Just listen to that sizzle. And it's almost done. Here it is. Oh, oh and it's right off the grill. Oh, look inside there. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Look at that, guys. Wow. It's just full of the Zhou Huang and the Ji Dan. The ultimate garlic chive, egg, pancake, Bing, Chinese pizza. And that is definitely strong with garlic chives. You can smell that. Wow. It smells really garlicky, oniony, grassy. And it smells like these were taken right from your garden. That garlic chive smell. Super fresh, super xiang. Also maybe a little potent. That is gonna be a nice first bite in the morning. And we're also gonna get the dou jiang, the soybean milk, which is this one right here. How? Oh. And we're gonna go try it out, guys. Xiexie. And here we go, guys. The Thai Bing and the Dou Jiang for breakfast. Right on the street in Kaifeng. Just look at this, morning street scenes. People are slurping their Dou Jiang, having their, their Thai Bing. And this is what it's all about. Wow. He loaded it up with garlic chives. 10 eggs, and it's just looking, oh, super delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. 
I never thought that many Zhou Huang garlic chives mixed with that many eggs would be delicious. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of garlic chives, but this, you gotta try. It doesn't have that extreme Zhou Huang flavor that you get in the Jiaozi and the dumplings in China. I think it's the way they fried it. Mmm. And this is such a beautiful, ancient old city full of street food and friendly people. And we're gonna keep exploring, going down the back alleys and bring you for tons more street food today. So make sure to watch all the way until the end because this is gonna be a full on street food tour. And we just keep biking through all day, guys. We are truly food ranging now. Just biking through neighborhoods looking for lunch. And next up, here we are. We've just been exploring around and we found this local co row joint. Literally fatty pork with pickled mustard greens, steamed. And you can see it's a courtyard style. And we just stepped into a super busy co row joint. Specialty Kaifeng co row. Right? Yes, yes, Oh, co row. That's what we came for, right there. The co row. Pickled mustard greens with fatty pork. And we've also got a full walk station. Oh, this is what? Chow row? Wow, chives with sliced pork. And we're just hanging out here in the Guantang Bao station. <laughs> and they're just explaining to us how there's actually a bit of soup inside. And he's just explaining how there's 18 to 22 pinches in each Guantang Bao. How? How? We're gonna go try it out. How? And as we wait for our Guantang Bao soup dumplings, just take a minute to look at this crazy kitchen. Kai Feng Tursa Thai. Oh yeah, we're gonna get the ko ro. We're gonna get the sweet fulu pork. Oh, red and fatty pork belly. Look at the scene, guys. So many Guantang Bao. How? Yes, yeah. And here we go. We got two long. One suda with veg and one roda with pork. And the roda, the pork, has tang in it, soup. And it's a traditional courtyard style eatery here. Look at this. Can you like Thai? How chilla? Hanmei, Hanmei. Hanmei. Yeah, it's, it's Hanmei. Very beautiful. Hanmei. So the neighbors are just teaching us how to eat this. Fang, fang la jiao ma. So if you like the chili, which we do, put some on the plate and then add the two. Jiang ma. Do jiao dian. Okay, we're gonna add more. And then we're gonna mix it up. And they said just eat it however you like. So you can dip it in that vinegar and chili mix. And I think to start, yao ko jiang ma. Okay, so you just slurp the stock out of the bowl. Jiang he ma. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. There's a lot of stock in there. Juicy Guantang Bao. And you can just dip it in this two la jiao mixture. Vinegar, chili. Mmm. It definitely has a lot of juice. Mmm. Oh yeah. And we've still got this furu ro. Dema. Look at that. That's fermented tofu. And then we've got the fatty pork belly. Shi tian dema. So I got the tofu and the fatty pork belly. Mmm. Mmm. You men are too not too yoro, ba. We are yoro. Wow, you got how true. Oh, so wow. Mmm. So you have to eat a garlic with it. And these guys are so friendly. Mm. 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 And then, mm. oh, that makes it less yoni, less oily. How? 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 <laughs> Wow, and there's just so much flavor going on here. But for me, there's nothing better than dipping a bao in some vinegar and chili oil and slurping the soup out. This is what it's all about. Xie xie. How is that, Jen? Bye bye. Bye bye. And this is such a cool city. We're exploring the back lanes now, and next up, just right up here, we're in a local little hutong, and there's a little Xiaobing. Oh, wow. We are making the Xiaobing. Wow. 
This is the dough, so this is where it all starts, guys. The Kai Feng Shao Bing. Gao Lao Ban is making the Shao Bing right now by hand, and this is gonna be, ooh, very delicious. So Gao Lao Ban is just rolling it out. So this is the real secret here. It's got peppercorn, and it's got star anise, and Gao Lao Ban is just filling it inside, and he said that there's over 10 different types of Xiang Liao. Goes right in the oven there. Fung me. And there they are. Look at those right in the oven. So young. Just cooking right over that fire there. Wow. And there it is. Fresh out of the oven. Gao Lao Ban just gave it to me. And look, it's hot. It's like an air pocket on the inside. This is Chinese style Bing. Xiao Bing. Almost like a naan. You can see he's literally just coating that with the Wu Xiang Xiang Liao. And you can take your Bing and Jia Tai. Fill it up with toppings. Jie Xian Oh yeah. Just slice it with a chopstick. Oh, Tai Xiang La. Oh, this is tofu, tofu. Uh, tofu. Hai dai. Tofu and seaweed. Two doses. Sliced potato. Tofu pea. Uh, tofu. La jiao. La jiao. So we got chili and a bean paste in there. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. She just loaded it up with tofu and potato and chili and bean paste. And look at that. Unreal sesame. Just toasted sesame. And the base on the inside is with that Wuxiang five spice. Okay, let's go for it, guys. Mmm. Oh yeah. Whoa. It is all about the toasted sesame and the Wu Xiang that's just coating the inside. It is so fluffy, hot, crispy, sesame, toasted delight. And there's a little bit of chili as well with the tofu and the and the potato. But really, it's all about the bing. Tai hao chila. Mmm. Chishinima. Shatsu jam. Amazing. And last up, we just made our way out to the edge of Kaifeng here to try a very special dish with hundreds of people lining the street. We're here early. We are gonna be having the Da Gu To. And it's all cooked in this giant wok. Da Gu To spare ribs filled with thousands of Xiang Liao right here. Han Duo Xiang Liao. And this is Yan Lao Ban in the back here who's gonna be preparing the Da Gu To. And here's all the Xiang Liao. Look at these. And all of these are going into that giant wok. I think that's the biggest wok I've ever seen. 30 plus Xiang Liao Chinese ingredients. And we're gonna watch how it's all prepared here. Ni hao. Xian zai kai shi jun bei, dui ma? Jun bei cai. Jun bei cai. la. Oh, and here we go. This is Xiang Liao. Xiang Liao. Oh, and here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Chili, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, bay leaves. That is Xiang, guys. Look at those spices bubbling away. Oh, and we're just gonna add a little more. Broad bean paste, chili, ginger, garlic, cardamom, bay leaves. Wow. That is next level aromatic. It's like walking through a, a forest full of fragrant herbs. Wow. Oh, and we're adding it even more. Yesterday's Liao. Yesterday's spices. Oh, so Gung Xiang. Gung Xiang. So we're adding in yesterday's spices to make it even more Xiang. That is insane, guys. Real magical scene. You take the most aromatic flower you can dream of, times it by a hundred, add some chili, some ginger, and so much spice. Oh, 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 we're adding in so much. And now it's starting to fill up. We've got almost a half full da guo, giant wok here. And this is where we're gonna see the guto. We've got buckets full of jin pai roll right here, coming right out of this giant box of meat. And that's gonna all go inside the Xiang Liao wok. Okay, let's put the meat in. Oh, right in. Wow, the meat goes in. That is the most aromatic pot of Xiang Liao. And we're gonna boil this meat right in. And you can see it just gets submerged into that giant pot of oil and Xiang Liao. And the juices are gonna infuse in and you can just poke it in. Oh. And that meat is submerged. More roe. Oh, wow. 
and it's totally filling up with meat now. And another one is coming. We're adding in 400 jin, which is 200 kg of meat. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. jin ma. 200 kg of meat. 400 people to eat all of this. And we're gonna make two pots of these tonight. And you can see it's so full of meat now that the meat isn't sinking down anymore. It's just barely going down because there's so much meat in this big pot of Xiang Liao. But we're still adding a little bit of water, so it's gonna fill up and that is gonna be very delicious. And just looking at one spoon of that, you can see it's full of over 30 spices and that is just gonna infuse into all of the meat. It is so Xiang. And those are just giant chunks of meat. It's gonna boil and we're gonna have a feast. And we're just adding on the last pieces right here. And they're just gonna slowly sink in to this giant wok. And there it is. Look at how big that guo is. And it's slowly starting to bubble. And that chili and those spices are starting to just infuse into the meat. I'm hungry. And this is gonna be a life-changing piece of pork back ribs. And Ting and I have been waiting for about an hour now and there's a small group of people waiting now for this da guo of roe. Xiang da. Xiang da mei you this. 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 And it's bubbling violently now. And that aroma is getting even stronger. That meat is getting all of the spices infused into it. And this is the biggest pot. Okay, and we're gonna just make our order now. Everyone here is gonna make their order. We're gonna get a zhongfen, a medium portion. Can you like a zhongfen? We're gonna get the medium size. And it's, I think I'm feeling a little too excited because of this bubbling pot of joy here. And I just love how it's scooped out with a shovel. That's when you know it's a giant pot. Oh. Wow. Oh, right from the depths. Oh, and we're going to get some of that tofu as well with it and put it right in. This is tofu, right? tofu right in the pot and just submerging it and that's going to go with the meat. Oh, that's it there. The tofu is almost done and the tofu is going to go perfectly with that meat. Scooping it up with the shovel. Okay, and then we're just putting it on top of the meat here and here's the scoop. The strained spicy oil and stock right over that. And there it is. Look at that. That is the da gu to. Full of tofu, coriander, green onions, 30 plus different spices, back ribs, boiled for two hours, scooped up with the shovel. And we also got a ticket for some liang tai. They song the liang tai. They, they give you the liang tai when you get a portion. So cold dishes. Wow vegetable dishes. So not only do you get all your meat, but you get all your healthy veg too. And Ting's gonna choose the veg. What do you feel like, Ting? There we go. Ting's getting her liang tai, cauliflower, rice noodles, lotus root, and tofu. Four different dishes. And here we are, guys. We got the ultimate da gu to ro meal. We just waited two hours and watched the whole process. Such an amazing process to see. And we also got four liang tai. We got a vermicelli with coriander and carrot. We have cauliflower in vinegar with coriander and the same with lotus root. But this is what we came for. The meat right out of the pot. Let's get a nice big chunk. Oh, there it is. Look at that meat. That's what we came for. And it's all about the first bite. Let's try it out. Mmm! I need to get another bite of that. Wow. Oh! That right there is almost similar to the spices in Sichuan, except this is even more xiang, more aromatic. You can just dip it right in. There is 30 plus spices in there, and it's so complex. There is mm, fatty meat, lean meat, peppercorn, chili, 
floral numbing. Oh, and you can tell there's a little bit of ginger, and it's overwhelmingly strong. Oh. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please make sure to click the little bell notification button down below so you don't miss any of these videos. And please leave us a comment as well. We would love to hear from you what you thought about this video. And make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Kai Fung has been amazing.